Okay, what is up everyone? We are back on YouTube for like the second or third time. Uh, obviously last time didn't really go to plan if you've seen the video. I don't know how long ago it was, but we were back in Manchester at the time. I'm not going to give you a big long update as every time I start back on YouTube I feel like I'm updating about 18 months worth of events and scenarios and that no one probably cares about so I'm just going to give you a very quick run through. So we left Manchester in October, we're now back in Ireland, back being a full time bodybuilder. It is now March obviously as this is when the video has been uploaded. Came back, got sick in January. Ended up being 87 kilos or something when I got sick. I'm now currently 98 kg and we are looking to compete again in September. I think that's pr pretty much it. I think you're pretty much summed up with my life. Life is very, very boring, uh, but that is it. Okay, so where we are at now, we are currently sitting at 98 kg. So that is the heaviest weight I've ever been at. Uh, I'll throw up a picture somewhere there. I love throwing up pictures and putting my finger pointing up to it. Makes it look like I'm really good at editing or something, even though it's the easiest thing ever. But boom, there we are anyway. So 98 kg and we are looking to compete in September again. So original plan was actually going to be summer. That was back when I was in Manchester. I said, yeah, do you know what? Kind of just one to get it done let's compete in summer things didn't go to plan fell off track for a couple of months so I obviously needed to give myself a bit more time to get myself ready and i'm glad i done that because like i said i'm now sitting on my heaviest weight ever uh, and looking considerably better to the last time i prepped as well last time i got up in between 93 and 94 kilos this is before the prep uh the competitions in 2021 but i was carrying a lot more body fat then a little less body fat now and obviously a lot more muscle so very excited to get it peeled off and see what the end product looks like but yes, yeah, shows are in September. I have two or three shows picked out. And um, so the first one I'm looking at doing is going to be the MK Classic, which I think is the 2nd of September. So that'll kind of be like my return to Manchester, even though it's Wigan. We'll be flying into Manchester, staying in Manny, and then just um, getting a, an Uber or something up to Wigan, up to the, uh, the venue. So I'm thinking of doing that one, MK Classic, which is going to be the start of September. The main focal point, the one I'm focusing on, is Alicante, which is the 16th of September, I believe. So it's two weeks after the MK Classic. Originally, I was going to do the PCA Ireland one again. So the one that I won uh, two years ago. I wanted to go back, do that one, and see could we go for an overall this time. So that was kind of the original plan. Um, but the more I was kind of progressing, and my coach was then saying, you know what, I think Alicante is going to suit you better. Kind of, you know, go up a level as such. Um, I wasn't really buying into it at first. I was like, oh man, you know, I don't know from there. Um, but the more I was kind of progressing, seeing myself, I was like, yeah, do you know what? I've done the PCA, I've kind of got gold there. Overall, would be cool getting a sword and all that, but you know what, let's go to Spain and uh, see how we fare with the big boys in an NPC show. So that is going to be the second show and possibility of a third show still waiting on a date and venue for that and for it to be announced really. Um, but yeah, hoping to do a third show so we'll kind of keep you informed on that. But those are the first two shows. My prep is going to be starting in May start of me i love how i said i wasn't going to give you a big massive update but i'm currently giving you a big massive update but i feel like it's relevant and um, so i'm going to be starting in may so it's the day before paddy's day 16th of march so i have up until the end of march in this gain phase april will be spent uh, spent in a bit of a holding phase uh, and a clearance phase and then we will go uh, straight into prep then i think the first or the second week of may which will give us 18 weeks until the mk classic and i think 20 weeks uh, to prep then for alicante so looking forward to getting back into it so as always i'm going to take you along the journey of the prep series we're obviously starting this while we're still in a bulk or you know gain phase um but i think people like to see um the other side of it not just the the prep, the cutting point, this is essentially prep for me. And um, the goal is just more focus on obviously gaining size now than it is getting shredded for the show. Uh, but it's all very relevant. Last time when I had the camera and I started prep, I think I only started recording at like eight or 10 weeks out because I only got um, this camera then. So now obviously having it beforehand, we might as well capture as much as we can. I'm not going to title the series. I had uh, wanted to title the series some, but I was like, you know what? I just can't be arsed titling a series and doing episode one episode two i'm just going to upload youtube videos try to get one done every week and just i don't know give it a good clickbait title like oh you'll never believe what happened to me this week or pulling out a prep or something stupid like that or just you know how to grow your arms this chest workout is unreal you should try it so i'm going to stop rambling now and we'll just get into the first uh first video which is going to be a push session obviously of course king of push and um, so i'm going to take you through my new push session which is an absolute fucking killer uh, it only got 
got updated recently, like two weeks ago. Um, so it's kind of new-ish to me. So still kind of setting baseline numbers, figuring out everything. Uh, so I'm gonna take you along for the ride. One thing that I do need to invest in is obviously the wireless mic. As you can see, don't have it. I just have the, the boom the fluffy mic up top and um, which i thought might be okay in the gym but as you'll see in the clips the music was kind of drowning out i think the wire actually fell out at one point so it wasn't even uh connected correctly it wasn't working so the music is kind of drowning out um when i'm talking to the camera but i will subtitle it um if the captions the auto captions kind of picks up what i'm saying just so you can get a bit of the info and um, but yeah i think the wireless mics will be very handy especially going through any of the the workouts any of the sessions that i don't have to then come back home and actually record over it and record a, a walkthrough or a voiceover i can kind of just talk in the moment uh, which i think will be better it's, it's a lot easier to you know think on the spot as you're going through it rather than going back home and looking back over and, and trying to remember how you we were feeling or what you were thinking at that certain point and um, so yeah looking forward to getting those wireless mics so hopefully in a week or two when the next video goes up i will have the wireless mics in and yeah upgrade the content okay so leave it there let's get into the push workout and hope you enjoy this video. Okay, first big set for today, uh, hammer strength shoulder press here. Um, so a bit of a love-hate relationship with this at the moment. I'm stuck on four plates and just floating between seven to eight reps. Uh, so first set, aiming for somewhere between six to ten, that's what's on the plan. So I know if I get seven reps, it's a bad day. If I get eight reps, it's a good day. So let's hope it's a good day. Second set, so back off set now, dropping it down to 10 to 15 reps, or increasing it to 10 to 15 reps after dropping the weight down from four plates aside uh, to three plates aside. So a big drop, uh, but want to aim for kind of 12, 13 trick at the, the upper range. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. So second big press today is going to be the hammer strength flat press. Um, so the one that's lying down on horizontal the bench press, rather than the, the vertical one. The vertical one is just so fucking heavy, man. It just doesn't really mean at all. Uh, and this one actually converges a lot more, so it's going to get better squeeze on the chest. So we're going to go relatively light here. It's two sets of 8 to 14 reps. Um, so again, relatively light in for kind of upper ranges. See if we can get close to 12, 13, 14 before we go.
Right, next moment in, and this is our third press, so we're starting to get a little bit fatigued now. Uh, but we have a reverse band incline Smith machine press, and the sets are going to run a little different with this. So the first set is 10 to 15 reps, so I'm not using much weight here at all. I only have 80 kg in total bar, 30 kg aside on the bar. And then for the second set, it's a cluster set. So a cluster set is essentially mini sets within a set, so I have four mini sets of six reps so we'll do six reps rest for 10 seconds six reps rest for 10 six reps rest for 10 six reps done so you're basically getting one what's my man said 24 reps and um, i'm going to use the same weight that i'm using now for the 10 to 15 rep set and um, so 80 kg so essentially what i'm going to get maybe 15 reps with on the second set i'm going to get 24 reps with it but just broken down into installments of six reps by four so yeah let's give that a go Okay, so we got 15 reps there, so we got the top of our rep range and felt like we could do a little bit more. So in my head, I'm thinking, right, do we move up and wait for the cluster set? But last week when I performed this, it got very, very heavy, very fast. So I'm gonna stick with the weight and see, see how we get on with it. Log book it and then I'll know if I undershot or overshot and take that into next week's session. Okay, right, we're moving on to dips now. So we're doing assisted dips here. Don't laugh at me because this is gonna be very, very tough. There was a time where I used to be dipping 60 kg, um, but this is on my fourth press in. I think it could be sixth exercise in. And how we're doing this, it's just one set, but it's a rest pause. So like the cluster set, it's kind of mini sets broken down. So we have 15 reps, 10 second rest, 10 reps, 10 second rest, and six reps. So quite a bit in that one set and uh, we also have a five second eccentric on each rep so it's a very long long set a lot of time under tension so yeah i need uh, i need the assisted dips here so i'm using about half my body weight uh, so 98 at the moment so i'm using i think i have like 47 kilos on the machine there so about 50 percent of my body weight is suspended uh, so yeah we're gonna run that and see how it goes 